after his adoptive son called the Hollywood star a world-class uh, asterisk asterisk hole and a f asterisk 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 in awful human in a controversial Instagram post, Brad Pitt seemed to lash out last night. For Father's Day 2020, Pax Jolie Pitt, 19, went on a fiery social media tirade calling his father a terrible and nasty guy who causes his four youngest children tremble in dread. When Pax was 16, he took to his private Instagram account stories area to vent his frustrations about Pitt, claiming that the Hollywood star's relationship was constant hell. Now that the post's contents are known, those close to Pitt have stated that the 59-year-old finds it depressing to see this dragged up. It's frustrating to see Brad being painted as some kind of bad person when that is far from the truth, the insider told The Sun. The insider said that Pitt chooses to preserve a dignified silence regarding the matter, adding that he speaks volumes and has great respect for each of his children. In 2007, Pax was taken in by Angelina Jolie from an orphanage in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. His three-year-old biological mother had abandoned him when he was a newborn due to heroin addiction. The following year, Jolie's then-husband Pitt formally adopted him. The children remained with their mother following the 2016 divorce of Pitt and Jolie, 48, which occurred only two years after they were wed in a secret ceremony in France. There were rumours that Maddox, the eldest boy, and his father got into a fight on a private flight. Given that the 19-year-old claimed in an astonishing social media tirade that his dad was making his life hell, it is now evident that Pax and Pitt's relationship is also problematic. In the June 2020 post, Pax wrote, You have made the lives of those closest to me a constant hell. You can tell the world and yourself anything you want, he continued, but eventually the truth will come to light. So happy Father's Day, you F asterisk 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 G awful human being, he sarcastically said. This week, a source affirmed that Pax is the rightful owner of the private account. He uses the account primarily for pals from school. That was uncommon because he never talks much about his parents and keeps to himself. Pax could not clarify if he was triggered by a particular incident or if years of stress culminated in it. Pax described his adoptive father as a world-class uh, asterisk asterisk hole in his message, saying, You repeatedly demonstrate that you are a horrible and vile person. You show no regard or compassion for your four youngest children who quake in terror when they are around you. Because you are incapable of understanding the harm you have caused to my family, you will never be able to comprehend it. Pax is a year older than Zahara, despite being Jolie's third adoptive kid, following brother Maddox and sister Zahara. He stated that the four youngest children, Zahara, now 18, and the couple's three biological children, Shiloh, 17, and the twins, Knox and Vivienne, 15, were the ones who made Pitt shudder. While Pitt was still wed to Jennifer Aniston in 2005, they got to know each other on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. At the time, they maintained that there was no adultery. However, Aniston filed for divorce after a photo of them with Maddox appeared on a Kenyan beach. However, the once famous Brangelina couple's idyllic romance ended in 2016, and they have been involved in contentious arguments ever since. Jolie had full custody of the children when their divorce was finalized in 2019, but in 2021, a deal was reached that gave Pitt 50% of the children's time. However, it was soon discovered that Pitt's attorneys and the case's judge, John Uderkirk, were close business associates. Pitt was only permitted custodial visits after Jolie regained custody of the children and he was thereby barred from the case. After an alleged argument with Maddox on a private flight, which occurred five days before to Jolie filing for divorce, 
Pitt was also the subject of an investigation by the FBI and the Los Angeles Department of Children and Family Services about charges of child abuse. It is reported that during a quarrel between his parents, Maddox defended Jolie. There was an argument between Pitt and Angelina, the insider later informed people, adding that Pitt had been intoxicated at the time. There was a parent-child dispute that got out of hand and intensified more than it needed to. According to Jolie, Pitt acted like a monster while on the plane. Pitt was later found not guilty of any crimes, has since given up drinking alcohol and smoking cannabis, and was spotted at an AA meeting in September 2016. Jolie told Vogue in 2021 that she had broken up with Pitt for the well-being of her family, despite the fact that neither Pitt nor Jolie have ever discussed the incident in public. It was the right decision, she continued. I keep my attention on their recovery. The kids see false information about themselves in the media, and some people have profited from my quiet, but I always tell them that they are the only ones who know the truth and that they are adults. They are, in fact, six incredibly courageous and strong young people. The couple in the French winery they purchased, Chateau Miraval, remain embroiled in a bitter $350 million legal dispute. Following the plane incident, Jolie's lawyers said she was uncomfortable with being involved in the sale of alcohol, so she sold her part to a Stoley Group subsidiary. This past summer, she labelled her former partner as a bully who behaved impulsively, emotionally, and ultimately illegally about the vineyard. He said she was trying to pull off a hostile takeover of the business. Remaining close to his mother, Pax has been spotted in New York with her while she's been developing her new Atelier Jolie range. He decided not to attend the high school graduation ceremony in order to avoid the attention of the media. It was revealed earlier this year that he had changed into an artist, going under the alias Empto. But the page six piece proved to be a fraud. The shocking Instagram photo by Pax has surfaced at the same time that Jolie has pushed California's governor to mandate domestic abuse education for judges. The actress reportedly felt that the judge managing her custody case was prejudiced in favor of her former spouse. The girl interrupted actress encouraged Governor Gavin Newsom to support Peaky's law in a two page letter dated September 29th. The bill would prevent kids from being sent to live with their violent parent in reunification camps. Additionally, it would provide judicial officers and mediators with training on domestic violence and the effects of trauma and child abuse. As you are aware, Peaky's Law was named after a five-year-old child who met a horrible end when his father killed him in April of 2017. Jolie wrote. Ana Estevez, Piki's mother, tried in vain to get her child protected in the California family court. For the last six years, Ana has worked with California lawmakers to make sure that authorities don't ignore or minimize abuse indicators, which sadly lead to harm and even death for many children in our nation. Last month, a close source of Jolie's stated that the actress is advocating for the legislation as a result of her encounter with Los Angeles judge John Uderkirk, who denied her children's request to speak about the domestic abuse they endured at the hands of their father. In May 2021, Uderkirk, a retired private judge who performed the couple's wedding, made a decision stating that the couple will continue to share equal custody of their kids. The insider cited her disagreements with biased Auderkirk, who was removed from the case when he failed to disclose his business contacts with Pitt's attorneys as an example of why this is personal to her and for good reason, Jolie stated. Despite California law permitting children 14 years of age and older to testify, Auderkirk refused her children's request to do so. She petitioned the appellate court to have him removed from the case, contesting the judge's tentative custody ruling. 
The disqualification came in July 2021. The source went on, Their entire family is a victim of system failure. She has spent years advocating for other families in public and in private. However, Jolie is attempting to misrepresent the truth and damage the reputations of individuals who testified against her, according to sources close to Pitt, as reported by the New York Post. According to one source, the legislation she is supporting has nothing to do with her custody case, even though it may be very viable. Why she would use her advocacy for another defamatory attempt to ignore all the objective facts in order to further her own interest is inexplicable. The decision to remove Oudekerk, according to sources close to the actor's legal team for World War Z, was made based solely on a technical procedure and had nothing to do with case-specific facts. The accusation that the judge had business with anyone was refuted 